In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite ways to attack cover 3 in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now again, if this is your first time coming, I do want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button. I also want to tell you that if you have any questions about the video today, you can go ahead and hit me up via text message. My cell phone number is 208-218-6900. Okay guys, so in today's video, I want to share with you a nice little cover three bomb out of the Jets playbook. Now, if you don't know this, I actually already released a full ebook on the Jets offensive playbook, and it's literally just 15 bucks. For $15, you're gonna get the whole scheme, and it's gonna literally tell you how to run the gun bunch at a very, very high level. Now, as far as cover three beater goes, this has been consistent since the latest patch, um, even the patch that came out today, and the play is very simple. It's just called Jets Dig. That's it. There's no adjustments necessary. There aren't things you can do. But as long as you have time in the pocket, you're basically just going to wait for that. We do need the in route. The in route got held up there. I don't know why the in route. As long as that in route on the left side doesn't get held up, this is going to work like, like a charm. If the in route gets held up for whatever reason, like right there, they're you see the press coverage. That's a new thing, new feature within this. You see that that can cause some challenge or some 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 tricks. Okay, so if they're if they're press coveraging you, um, then all you have to do is just take your running back and just or I'm sorry, not your running back, but take your tight end and you can basically just simply put like a little comeback route to the circle receiver. So you'll see here, I'm going to put him on a comeback route when I motion him out. And you'll see they're kind of sit on him like that right there, the little hesitation. At that moment, you can pass that all the way to the right, and you'll be able to get over the top there. I might need a little bit of a faster receiver, but it's really, really easy. So literally all you're going to do, you're going to motion him out. When you motion him, whenever he moves, you're going to put him on a comeback, snap the ball as soon as he gets all the way out here, and then just basically wait for that right side corner to dip. Right there you see him dip, and you're going to get it right over the top of his uh, right, over the top of his right shoulder. Now, again, the faster the receiver that you have, the better that it's going to work out for you. If they don't press you, like if they're just running cover three as is, you're going to have a lot more success because you see right there, it's really, really hard for them to stop it if they're not jamming. If they're not messing up the in route on the left, the in route is the key. And the in route is going to do a really good job of pulling that safety down to the middle of the field. And as you can see, you can get this over the top. Now, the beauty is you can actually get this over the top with a lot of different types of cover three. So, for example, if I go to the cover three buzz out of the 335 wide, the safety is the deep safety is on the other side. And so you'll see here, this is wide open. I mean, it's not even close. It's an automatic touchdown. They have to have the safety on the, on the, the bunch side be the guy in the deep third. And even if they do that, you can take your, you can do things like this right here, where you take your tight end up the seam. If you take your tight end up the seam, it's going to force that safety to have to hold, and you're going to have even more windows to hit your your slots, your slot uh, fade. Um, so you could even do something like, I mean, you could even do it as as comp complex as streaking your tight end. You can put circle on a comeback route, and then and do everything like that as well. And you'll see again, this is going to really get over the top. Now, right there, it didn't. Um, and I will say that a lot of times, to me, it really does. It really does matter if the where, where that receiver's at. So you see here, like he's on the hash mark. If I take the circle receiver and I and I put him on a fade, and then did something like maybe like this right here. Uh, you see this right here. If I did something like that, watch what's going to happen on that cover three bomb. You'll see that he's gonna, he's still gonna go over to the right. And he's gonna kind of dumb out. The problem is the safety's gonna be able to get back on that because the fade route doesn't actually fade to the sideline. It just does a quick little animation and then it goes up. So that's just something you need to know as far as this works. But like I said, if you streak the tight end, if you streak the tight end, it's wide open. 
Um, it's it's like the next level thing of you could do. The beauty of this is you're going to be able to really. It's like a four vertical play. I mean, you're really going to be able to attack the verticals. And then even if you wanted to do something like uh, like a slot, let me back up here. So if I went to this play, and then I wanted to take the circle receiver and do like a little motion over slot streak type thing, you'll see here this this should still work out relatively well for me. You see there, pass lead it to the right. Once he kind of glitches out, and it's an automatic dot. So that route is really, really powerful. It's the play Jets Dig. If you want to get the full gun bunch offensive ebook, it's in the description. It's just 15 bucks. Breaks down everything that you need to know. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a text. My number is 208-218-6900.